was then that I had realized I had stopped caring about people, about a career, about it all. And how did that make you feel? Free. Sonder. The realization that each human I see is living a life as vivid and complex as my own. Populated by their own ambitions, fears, routines, and inherited craziness. An unyielding story told inaudibly around me like a vast spider web of incomprehensible detail. In which I am here only once, as an extra sipping coffee in the background, as a blur of traffic passing on the highway, as a lighted window in dusk, as another fly caught in the trap of existence. Dead reckoning is a phrase I find weighing on my mind increasingly as these days pass. someone's death more than you could have expected, as if you had assumed they'd always be part of the landscape. Like a lighthouse you could pass by for years, until one night it suddenly goes dark. landmark to navigate by. That is Dead Reckoning. Whether born of the idle brain, or sleepless nights, or itcherism is the stabbing jolt of awareness that you will die. That I will die. That these passing years aren't just scenes from a dress rehearsal, but are footprints being lapped by the steadily gathering tide of an unfathomable lack of being. I, which will wash away the aftertaste of all those dreams gone unclaimed, of all those things I could have said, and all those memories I forgot to forget. And all that pain that I never will. Until I do.
Ambido is a kind of melancholic trance. In which I become completely absorbed in vivid, yet insignificant details. Raindrops skittering down a window. Tall trees leaning in the wind. The silhouette of a single gold treading an orange horizon. These collective moments of lucidity, brief but powerful, lead me to the dawning awareness of the hauntingly beautiful volume of detail in this fragile world of ours. This world that's that's worth existing in. <laughs>